here are a couple nozzles. Um, this is kind of more in a, uh, a view that, so, you now it's turned 90 degrees to give you an idea of the, the length of the mist. So you gotta tip your head uh, 90 degrees to look at this. Um, but this is a 0.2 millimeter nozzle on the left and a 0.3 millimeter nozzle on the right. And they have light gauge springs in them or 80 pound springs. And right now we're running at 100 PSI, so they're opened up just slightly, and we're going to ramp up to show you how these mists go. Now, the distance to the ground is about 6 feet, and right now there's no way we're hitting the ground, but once we get up to uh, pressure, they'll, they'll eventually get the ground wet. Uh, not too bad, but they will get it wet. So here we go. It's 125 PSI, uh, and you can see that they've opened up pretty well. Um, so we'll ramp up a little further. There's 150 PSI, and they're putting out some pretty good mist at 150 PSI. And there's 200 PSI. They start making little noise at 200 PSI, but you can see uh, the differences in the size of the plume. Uh, there are smaller nozzles, I'll demonstrate, but these are kind of a medium-sized nozzle, we'll say. We'll go up a little higher. There's 250 PSI. There's 300 PSI. Get a good idea on the length of the plume right now. And there's 400 PSI. You can see they've opened up pretty well. Um, you, know, you go much higher than 400 PSI, you get to 4 to 600 PSI. Not a heck of a lot of change, not a heck of a lot more mist comes out, maybe 20 to 30 percent, 20 percent more mist would come out once you reach 800 to 1000 PSI. That's enough for that demo. You can take a look at that. It's kind of interesting.